Hello, I'm Oban Elmoni and I'm here to present you real life skate designs. Today we're going to work on the median. Safety critical systems offer, often feature multiple and redundant sensors in case of failure. If one of the sensors fails, uh, then you have the other ones. So your system will have several measures for a given physical phenomenon. Which one should you choose? The median is indeed a good choice, as it selects the value that has as many bigger values than itself, than values smaller than itself. A value that is completely off will not impact the final result. As with any software design, we will start by defining the interface of our median. So let's start by creating a median operator, here it is, with an input v for the values and an output m for the median computed. For the types, uh, we'll start simple and say we want to compute the median out of 10 integers. So we will give a type int hat 10, that means an array of 10 integers for v, and as a consequence, our output median will be a simple integer. Okay, so for the moment we'll start by a very simple and dummy implementation. We will just take the last element of the array. So I can just take the ninth element. So that is the tenth, but the uh, element at index nine of my array. Okay, so uh, we're happy with this. Let's quickly test that this works as expected. So I'm basically checking my model, checking if there's an issue. Hopefully there is none. Yep. Okay, here we are. Good. And I see my input here and my output there. I will put this output in the watch so it will be easier for me to fill in some values. So I can put whatever values I want here. And let's... take a remarkable value for the last element. If I do one step, I see that my output is correctly taken. Okay, good. So I do have an interface for 10 integers, but what if I need to compute the median of 12 integers or five? Do I need a new operator for each? That would be very boring in addition to be error prone and hard to maintain. Skate provides a way to design a generic solution that remains compatible with safety requirements. It lets you parameterize operators by an arbitrary integer constant. You can then use this constant as you wish in the operator, including for typing its IOs and variables. So let's add a size parameter n to our median. So I will click there, insert parameter, I give a, a name n. Okay. I can then use n here in the type. It's becoming an int at n. That means I don't know the size of this array. And I can also use the value here in my implementation to say that if my size 10, I want to be a 10 minus one. That's going to be the last element of my array. Now let's try to check this new operator. We have a couple of messages here. The first one is a warning, telling me that I have declared the median as a node while it has no memory. And the median is really a function in the mathematical sense for a given input, the same output is always produced. Well, now it's a good time to declare my median as a function and not as a node. Okay. The second message here is an error. It states that the root operator has size parameters. This is because some checks require to know the actual value of n, of the size parameter n, in order to be performed. That means that Skate can only let through the check operator instances. So we're going to create a couple of instances. So for that, I'm going to create, let's say, a test operator. And I'm going to create a couple of instances of this method. Okay, 
here it is i'm going to give a value for n let's say let's take again 10 that i had before and another instance let's say i don't know 12 and a third one that is going to be 5. okay so i need here to have three inputs the first one is going to be and it had 10 the second one is going to be and it had 12 and the third one is going to be and it had 5 okay i can instantiate them okay and i'm going to get three outputs which are going to be my three medians okay i can then check my model oh this one is also a function no error anymore so now that our model checks let's see how it behaves okay i'm rebuilding it Okay, I can add the three inputs in the watch. And this one, the last one, I'm going to put, to put, let's say, 10. Here, I'm going to put 12. And here, I'm going to put 5. And while I have done only one implementation of this median, okay, um, uh, this median works with three different sizes. You see that the last value is taken. Okay. I can also go inside and have a look at the details for the moment. There's not much in it. How can we achieve this result without risking to compromise type safety? Let's have a look at how the code generator handles this. I'm just changing the configuration here to code generation and generate the code. You will see that for each instantiated value of n, that are 10, 12, and 5, I do have three h5s and three c5s. I have median 5, median 12, and median 10. Okay. So if I look at them, I will see that for each one, I will get a different prototype for the function. And so here it takes an array of five integers, this one takes an array of 12 integers, and this one an array of 10 integers. And of course, I do have the according implementation. And you see that here, it returns the element at index four, here at index 11, and here at index nine. So in the end, you have as many different C functions as you need, but you have written only one. 